we have done a lot of talking of fractions and dividing this chapter. Again, some things to remember. A fraction is a numerator over a denominator. Remember, your denominator is how much a whole is split into. So if I have a pizza and there's four people and only three people eat, three out of four slices were eaten. So, and we can relate that to, we related that to division. Um, we just did that. One pizza divided by three people. One pizza divided by three people. We each would get one third of the pizza. We've also used it to represent remainders, either rounding up, rounding down, or representing it as a fraction. We also know that when a fraction denominator gets larger, the pieces get smaller. For example, if I have one half, and one fourth, who has the bigger pieces? One half, because it's only split into the two parts. We also know that there is something called an improper fraction which looks like this. Maybe you have five-thirds. And you can turn that five-thirds into a proper, a mixed number by, so if I have a circle broken down into thirds and another circle broken down into thirds, this is what it looks like. So I have one whole colored and then two-thirds of the next colored. My improper fraction, I'm circling in red. Improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator. And then a mixed number has a whole number. Our whole number, yay! And a fraction. We also know that when we add fractions, you can only add if the denominators are the same. Say it with me. I can only add fractions if the denominator is the same. It also goes with subtracting. You can only subtract if the denominator is the same. Today, you looked at adding fractions with denominators that aren't the same. And it was pretty challenging. So, let's take a look at your homework. Now, I can't show you the, I don't have a picture of our um, circles, our, our fraction pieces, so I'm going to try the best I can to show you what something you looked at today. So, if I had my yellow pieces, and the yellow might be a little hard to see, I have my red that's a hole. Here's my whole circle. Then, if I have my yellow, it's divided into fourths. So I sort of want to show you that on the red. Fourths. And then, if I have eighths, it's going to be in blue. It's not going to be perfect. So now it's eighths what it would look like on the red circle. Could we add one-fourth and one-eighth? We talked today. You can. Because here is one-fourth. We know that this is one-fourth over here. This slice right here that I'm coloring in yellow. This slice is one-fourth. If I look at the same slice over here, 
how many eighths or blues fit into that one fourth? One, two. So, an eighth, so a fourth represents two eighths. So I could change my fourth to an eighth. So I would say two fourths, two eighths plus one eighth equals three eighths. Now let's check it. I'm going to change my color to green. So if I colored in a fourth, so I know that's two eighths plus one eighth, do I have three eighths colored? I do. So if we're taking a look at your homework, it looks something like this. And we're going to do two together. Or number one together. It says, these fraction circle pieces show one third plus one sixth. Draw a line to show how you could use the fraction circle pieces to change the problem to two sixths plus one sixth. So, if I'm looking at that, where would I draw my line? I'm going to outline my sixth in red. Oops, that did not. That's not very good, but here's my red. That's a sixth. An orange. Here's my red a third, and a sixth. Could I make a little triangle that looks like that over here? You betcha I can. I can go just about there, oh, just about there, and make another third. Or another sixth, I'm sorry. Because if I had my whole circle... It would look something like that. But that's not a very good drawing. So then, it says to complete the number sentences. So 2 sixths plus 1 sixth is how many? 3 sixths. Then it says 1 third plus 1 sixth. Well, here's my 1 third plus a sixth. What does it equal? 3 sixths. So, two once, what fraction addition problem do these fractions show? So think about what the whole is split into first, and then what that is split into. C sort of shows you, gives you a hint. Three says, explain why it is easier to add fractions when they have the same denominator. Think about it. Did we have to change anything when they have the same denominator? And then... Four and five are practice. Make sure you use um, make sure you use grouping symbols.